Vape swag. 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 Hello my lovely babies. Welcome back. Today's video is all about counterculture e-liquid. guys, so I'm back today for Thirsty Thursday. We have counterculture e-liquid. Now you guys know how I feel about hats. I don't like to wear them because I don't really wear them well. But since they sent me one, we're gonna do one in a hat. All right, so I got sent three flavors of the counterculture line. We have inked, pierced, and fueled. These are 60% VG e-liquid, available in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams nicotine. I have a little sample pack right here that came folded up in this flyer with some very important details about the e-liquid, so stay tuned for that. I have the three flavors inked, which is a mouth-watering blend of fresh strawberries and vanilla custard, all the flavor, none of the guilt. Pierced, which is a blue raspberry custard confection to satisfy your sweet tooth. And Fueled, which is a classic vanilla custard like you have never tasted before. This is what you have been waiting for. So these are the little sampler bottles. And these are from the makers of Baker White. So here is Fueled, here is Pierced, and here is Inked. So even their little sampler bottles have childproof dripper caps. These are glass bottles. But before we get into trying out the flavors, I really wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. Look at this. This is so nice. Like, I am so impressed. They sent me some information about their e-liquids that I felt is really important for you guys to know. So they make their e-liquids in an ISO lab. It is super clean. So here is what they sent me. This is the ISO Class 6 Certified Pharmaceutical Lab. So basically they sent me some bullet points of important things about their e-liquids like the fact it has the standards to regulate the air purity and the bacteria in a pharmaceutical manufacturing environment. ISO 6 class pharmaceutical lab provides environmental control of airborne particulate and bacteria contamination levels appropriate for accomplishing pharmaceutical grade manufacturing. They go on to say many in our industry feel that a food grade facility is appropriate for e-liquid manufacturing. We strongly disagree. We do not ingest e-liquid. We inhale them. Our class Class 6 pharmaceutical lab is 100 times cleaner than a class 7, 10,000 times cleaner than a class 8, and 100,000 times cleaner than a class 9. Our lab is equipped with filters that operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to keep the air as clean as possible by trapping particles as small as 0.5 micrometers, also known as microns. The air is exchanged in lab once every 60 seconds with clean filtered air. The process of establishing an ISO 6 pharmaceutical lab starts with the design and construction, continues with the certification, and is maintained through strict operational protocols and cleaning standards. Continued compliance and annual recertification is necessary to maintain an ISO certified pharmaceutical lab. That is intense. And if you want to check the sources, you can go to www.iso.org slash iso slash home.htm. And then there is another informational sheet here that says there is no diacetyl and no Acetal Pro, ooh, wow. <laughs> Here's where my smart shows. Propiano says Baker White has chosen to be diacetyl and acetal propion <laughs> free. We test all of our brand's flavors for these components and have lab results published on our website for each product we sell. The reason Baker White has chosen to be diacetyl free is because we are unsure of the extent of the harms of these ingredients could cause because we do not know what levels are safe. We choose to not sell products that contain these components. And their sources are OSHA.gov and the CDC. So I just thought that it was really important for you guys to know just how clean of an area that these e-liquids are made in and just how clean the e-liquids themselves are. They have the test results posted on their website as well as that little flyer that they sent me also had a little picture of the test results, like screenshot, but you can check their website for the official one. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and try some of these flavors, see if they live up to their class six pharmaceutical lab stamp of certification. I'm going to be trying these three flavors out of my Troll Atomizer. My Troll RDA is rebuildable, but for anybody who does not know how to rebuild or doesn't want to build or can't build or whatever, there is always these little 510 dripping atomizers. I used to use these and I'd probably still use these if I didn't have a friend to help me build my coils for flavor testing, but you just put a couple little drops of the e-liquid in there and you get a couple puffs of the flavor. I swear by these. These are great for quick and easy e-liquid flavor testing. I leave links below to both of these in my favorite section under e-liquid tester for advanced and e-liquid tester for beginner even though you could be advanced and still use the beginner one 
if you were like on the go and in a hurry and didn't have time to build, I guess. So the first flavor we are going to try is Fueled and this is their classic vanilla custard flavor. <laughs> These little bottles are so freaking cute. Mmm, smells really good. Justin just smells like plain vanilla custard. Mmm, creamy. Now that is good. And what's even better is I know that I can be vaping this and not have to worry about any of the scares that people get from custard or buttery type e-liquids with the diacetyl. That other one that I have a hard time pronouncing. It really just makes it a lot easier to enjoy a flavor like this. Wow, that's really good. It's like the inside of the creme brulee. Like not, uh, when, once you get past the hard sugary layer, it's like that inside part and it is really good. It's super sweet, but not too sweet. And it's definitely creamy, like pudding cream. Mm. With this one, I've had a lot of custard flavors. And with this one, I can see the appeal. Like that is so yummy. I don't think I've no I've never fallen in love with a, a vanilla custard flavor before and this is freaking delicious mmm oh man that's like dangerous like <laughs> I don't want to say it could be a new favorite but it is pretty freaking good I'm gonna have to vape on it for a while to decide to like that is so sweet and it, it's just so simple. It's just vanilla custard. Next we are trying inked, which is strawberries and vanilla custard. Oh my God. I was just thinking, you can't make that vanilla custard any better. Add some freaking strawberries to it. Mmm. Oh wow, oh my God. Guys, I'm so stoked. Mmm. Okay, you guys know how I love strawberry vapes. I love strawberry cream, strawberry custard, strawberry milk, anything strawberry vapes, like I am so for it. Oh, this is so good. And again, the reassurance knowing how clean these e-liquids are and, and how clean the lab is that they are made and it just makes it, I, I didn't think it was possible, but it makes it even more enjoyable to vape. Mm. Definitely a fresh strawberry, maybe like a teeny tiny hint of like a, a candy strawberry, but that's only because of the creamy vanilla custard flavor, which is really sweet. Ooh, definitely going to vape this all the way gone. This is an all day vape for me for sure because I love strawberry vape profiles. Mm. The, okay. I don't know how to pick which one's better because the vanilla custard flavor was sweet and yummy, but the strawberry leans more towards my personal flavor preference. They're both just really good. So let's move on to the last one. So this one is pierced which I am, <laughs> and it is a blue raspberry custard. Now, I'm not a fan of blue raspberry things, like blue raspberry candy or anything, really, in real life. I'm not a fan of blueberry vapes either, but seeing as how good those other two were, I am definitely keeping my hopes up for this flavor. Definitely blue raspberry, definitely get that custard vibe. Again, I don't like blue raspberry things in real life, but that's just personal taste preference, but it does taste exactly like a blue raspberry candy with a custard undertone. It's not that bad, like for me personally, I mean, it tastes good. I'm just not the one to like blue raspberry flavors. But it definitely tastes like what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Still vape in my lungs. <laughs> But these flavors are really freaking clean. They are really freaking good. I am definitely going to be vaping that strawberry one and probably going to be vaping that vanilla custard one too. They're so good that I'm kind of like, oh, do I have to? But I'm doing a giveaway. I have 30 milliliter bottles of all three of these flavors. And even though I'd like to keep them to vape for myself, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick giveaway for you guys. I will announce the winner on Sunday in the vape vlog when I also announce the winners for the UL Raphael tank that I'm giving away on all my social medias. So here is what the giveaway consists of three stickers, one for each flavor, a little informational flyer about the e-liquid, one poster for each, ow, <laughs> I just hit myself in the head, one poster for each flavor, and one 30 milliliter bottle of each of the flavors. Oh, goodbye ink, I love you. Goodbye fueled, you're so good too. Goodbye pierced, because you're not my favorite. <laughs> but oh my God, 
I want to do this giveaway. I want to be greedy and keep them for myself because they're so good. Just kidding. I'm doing this giveaway for you guys. So all you have to do to enter to win this little e-liquid prize bundle is give this video a thumbs up, share it anywhere on social media, and comment down below where you're from and which one of these three flavors sounds the best to you. You must be 18 years or older to enter this and you must be able to prove that you're 18 years or older if you become the winner. So stay tuned for this week's coming vape vlog to see if you have won. I will put a link below to the website where you can get Counterculture e-liquid if you're interested in getting it for yourself. They are so freaking good and I advise you if you are a custard flavor lover, get these e-liquids because there's no diacetyl and no scary chemicals that we have all been like, oh my god. If you've tried Counterculture for yourself, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of it. If you liked it or you didn't, I would love to hear from you guys. Taste is so subjective and varies person to person. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like so if you want to see more of me that's not necessarily vaping related you can check out that channel all those links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching oh and I forgot to mention this hat is in the giveaway too. I don't need it. Ooh, hat hair. I don't wear hats, so I'm putting it in the giveaway as well, but I'm keeping the shirt.